KATC TV3, Acadiana's news channel. Good evening, we begin with breaking news. As the weeks roll on, scientists are getting more clear pictures of the environmental impact of the oil spill. UL biology professor Suzanne Frederica and some of her students went to Port Fouchon to collect algae samples. That algae was saturated in oil and represents the very bottom of the food chain. Now, why should we care about oil-covered algae? Well, the answer is simple. If you like eating fish or shrimp, they depend on algae for oxygen underwater and eat organisms that grow on the algae. Because people, it's, uh, they look at the pelicans, they look at the, um, the dolphins and so that are stranded. It's, it's terrible. But this is what we see, you know, the, what at the base of all of that is the, is the algae. You're watching news that gets to the point on KATC TV3, Acadiana's news channel. Good evening and thanks for choosing the late edition on Acadiana's news channel. With each passing day, the broader ramifications of the spill on sea life are becoming more clear. Members of the UL Biology Department just returned from Port Fouchon, where they collected deep water algae. And as KGC's Mike Magnoli reports, they say the look is grim. Professor Suzanne Frederick and some of her biology students are busy these days. We were just scratching the surface, right? We have backlogs of stuff that we have to go through and analyze. The group got permission from emergency management officials to gather specimens from the beach in Lafouche Parish, as far south as you can get in Louisiana, and what they saw was very different from their previous trip at the beginning of the semester. They gave us some this yellow booties when we wanted to go into the, the water and some plastic gloves. Now the teacher and her students take to microscopes and machines. The samples they collected are saturated in oil. Why should the average person be concerned with oil-coated algae? The, the algae are the major producers of oxygen. And then you have animals that live off the algae. Then you have bigger fish that live on the little fish that eat the algae. This is a sample of some healthy algae, what it should look like, with organisms growing on top of it and everything in the food chain and sea life depends on this for its survival. Without the algae that feeds the shrimps, that feed everything else, everything dies. In Lafayette, Mike Magnoli, KATC TV3, Acadiana's News Channel. Now, your Storm Team 3 24-hour True View forecast.